See, I, I never get attention like that unless it's from dudes. What do you mean? I was on set once. We were on a cooking show. This guy was cooking all these recipes. So um, the camera is, is looking at him, and I'm attached to the camera with a cable looking at what the camera sees, but I'm off to the side. But in between all the takes, he was always looking to the side on the screen. I was like, what is he looking at? Oh, he's looking at me. So I could, he didn't know I could see what the camera was seeing. And apparently uh, he goes up to the director and goes, who's that young man? He's beautiful. And then at lunch, the director came over and <laughs> said that this TV chef, he's, uh, he's got a real thing for you. He's, he's, uh, he's a big fan. <laughs> a big fan? <laughs> And it all made sense because in between takes as well, he would like cook me up these little nibbles and stuff. He'd be like, what do you think of this one? I'd be like, well, it's great. And I was just waffling down. <laughs> I didn't realize it was flirting until it was too late. You're like gone home. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah, so I could have drew this. my chance. Anyway, so I'm only there for two days, but the whole shoot is three months long. But apparently, they couldn't get him to look up at the camera enough. So the producer went online and went onto my Facebook and no. printed out my profile picture and taped it to the top of the camera to get him to look to the thing. And about... <laughs> Six or seven months later, this was probably Christmas time, someone got my mum his cookbook. You're like, that's the dude I banged on set. <laughs> <laughs> In the front page of the book, he's got all his thanks and stuff. So it's like, thanks to the lighting guy. And he lists all these names. And at the end, it just says, and Gavin. My Literally. rock.